So working on something a little bit different today. Uh, Wheel Horse 416H. Um, don't really know anything about it other than it's been sitting for a little while. Uh, the engine appears to turn over um, because I just had it turning over. I just put a different key switch in it because the one that was in it, uh, the insides are broken so the key wouldn't even go in. Uh, I did hook a jumper pack to it and it does turn over uh, with the battery. And then I pulled the front spark plug out and it seems like it has a little bit of spark, but not a ton. But I wasn't turning it that fast, the battery pack was pretty much dead. Um, something I don't have is the whole ear cleaner or, uh, you know, air filter assembly box, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to get inventive with something like that, you know, at least for now. But uh, I think my plan is here now is to hook an actual battery to it and uh, probably disconnect the fuel tank because that's really nasty inside. Um, it's full of debris. You can kind of see the camera won't even focus, but yeah, it's kind of nasty in there. So I don't want it to, there's no gas in there or anything, but I don't want it to suck anything up. So I'll just unplug the fuel pump just so nothing happens. And then uh, I'll probably pull the top of the carburetor off, see what that looks like. Um, if it is nice and clean in there, which I'm, I have a feeling it is, I might just fill the float bowl with some gas, hook the battery up and then just see what happens. So I'm going to hook the battery up and I'm going to come back after that and show you what happened. All right, so I got the battery hooked up. I did pull the top of the carburetor off. There was a little bit of debris in there, so I just blew it out. I do have the carburetor full of gas, the, the float bowl. Uh, so it should do something. That's, you know, assuming that the spark that it has is enough to actually run. So I'm going to push the brake in without a seat because the seat's down there. Um... So what's cool is these lights work, it's flashing engine oil, which I'm assuming is because there's no oil pressure because it's, you know, not running. So here goes, see, maybe a little bit of throttle, some choke, I don't know. Let's just try this. No way. No way. Okay, and I shut it off because there was a bunch of stuff blowing around. I didn't want it to suck in the carburetor. Uh, I think we have a record for the easiest tractor I've ever got running. Uh, that was that was too easy. Like I've that's that's way too easy. I've never had that happen before. Um, so I think from here, I need to pull the fender pan off, uh, pull the fuel tank out, clean that up. The fuel lines are all shot. Replace the fuel lines. I'm going to tear this tractor all apart and restore anyway, but I would like to, you know, kind of play with it until then. And then, of course, figure out the air filter thing. So I'm going to set you up on a different camera with a tripod and, uh, you know, take the fenders off. Okay, so seen by that, I got the fuel tank taken off. It was actually pretty easy. There was just the four bolts on top to pull the fenders off. And then the tank itself just had two bolts, uh, one on each side up here. And then underneath these bolts here didn't want to come out. So I just took the red metal brackets off with it. Took the whole tank out. I uh, cleaned the tank out with some water. So I'm letting that dry out before putting that on. It seems like it's mostly dry already. I ran some new fuel line, which is just some clear hose uh, through the spots where the old one was. Added a fuel filter, which I didn't have before. Um, and then I kind of cobbled together an air filter box, which, I mean, it's kind of cobbled together, but not too bad. Um, I was expecting worse. So this was off of a Kawasaki um, a V-Twin, uh, like a John Deere uh, would have. So I had to plug these two holes with some bolts and then this hole here which is for the crankcase breather with a bolt and then uh, so it just mounts with one bolt instead of the three because the other ones just barely don't line up 
And then I still got to figure out something for the actual crankcase breather itself, um, which shouldn't be too bad. And then uh, it just sits there diagonally. And uh, this cover fits on there nice. And then, uh, oh, I can't do it with one hand, but um, it clears the hood just barely. So that's kind of nice. Get that on there, show you how it looks. But it looks a little silly. I'll probably peel off the stickers on the plastic. It says, you know, it's a V-twin, liquid cold, whatever. Um, but, hey, at least it's got an air filter and it's going to work. Not totally cobbled together. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the fender pan or the gas tank put back on and then the fenders. And then uh, do some probably minor cleaning maybe. Maybe put a headlight in it because it's missing headlight. It's bothering me. And uh, I'm going to come back and I'm probably going to actually do some mowing with this. So I got the fenders and everything put back on. I didn't go in depth to, with it, you know, like I really wanted to. But this is still ended up going way easier than I thought it was going. I was expecting to, you know, spend a lot more time on it. Re, you know, kind of refer refurbish the carburetor. But it turns out I really didn't have to do anything. But uh, there'll be more coming on this um, actually pretty soon. I ordered some decals for it that don't say Taro. Um, I'm not going to say what they are because I want to make it a surprise. I'm going to do a custom paint job on it. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit different because I'm going to keep this one. Um, starts actually really easy. Um, I just had it running, but it normally it starts without the choke. <laughs> So I didn't, you know, fix the, I didn't fix the headlight, you know, like I was thinking I was going to, or really anything because, you know, I'm going to take it all apart and kind of put it back together when I paint everything. So that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to leave you with a video I took of this actually mowing.